Hey, I'm uh, I'm back, man. I'm back in race room and that. It's uh, it's been a while, uh, but you know, there's a lot of rumours through the grapevine that they got these uh, new WTCR cars. So I thought I'd give them a try. Purchased myself the Audi, and um, quickly uh, gave it a little go out. And uh, as you can see, I am way down the pecking order, in like 300, 3 or 400 or whatever it is. So uh, yeah, just scrolling through now, seeing all my all my friends and and uh, just checking out the leaderboard. Eh, it's not looking it's not looking too good for me at the moment. But you know, it's been a while. Obviously, I'm nowhere. I'm no I'm no I'm definitely no good at these uh, front wheel drive cars. I'm, I can't say I'm a fan to be honest. But you know, the race room I think are uh, probably one of the better. <laughs> Well, uh, one of the better sims out there to do the front wheel drive cars, so uh, you know, I thought I'd give it a go. And uh, in this little contest, I think it's the top 96. So, as you can see, I'm going to get nowhere near the top there, but I'm going to try my best to get in that top 100. And, um, oh, what am I doing? And uh, see where I come, basically. I'm going to, oh, Jesus, there's about five hours, I think. Yeah, there's about five hours left. I've only got about two hours before I go to work. So I'm going to quickly come on here, do my best time. I'll then just do a little, uh, do a clip of the lap that I did and then just talk more, talk about how it feels and uh, and how how nice it is, is to be back in race room. Anyway, I'll uh, catch you guys in a little bit. Oh my god, I actually made it in man. I made it in, Jesus. By um, by about a tenth or two or something like that. Uh, I didn't actually think I'd do it in time to, um before I'd left. Cause uh yeah, I was like it's, it's too it's too short a time for me to like get back into the swing. I mean it's been a while since I've been in race room anyway. And then to get back into the swing of these like front wheel drive cars which I haven't raced in ages. Um like I said, I've already said that like, I'm not a huge fan of these to be honest. I always feel like I'm fighting the car. It's not, it's, um, I wouldn't exactly say it's an enjoyable experience for me, but at the same time, they, uh, you know, you've got to give credit where credit's due. It does take, you know, just as much skill to drive these as it would the other cars. They're, they're so difficult to get around the track, so much understeer, so much looking up the wheels, the, the rear rotation is, um, it's not as responsive as what I'm, I'm used to racing, you know, so yeah, definitely take some getting used to um, 
but it's a track that I do like. Uh, you can see I took the curve a little bit too aggressive there. I, I mean, the time that I did get, I'm pretty sure I could probably improve it by another tenth, um, maybe two, if I just cleaned it up a little bit. But anyway, like I said, this was a rush job, so I've um, just seen what I could do. I only got a couple of hours to basically complete it. Um, but yeah, I like this track, which is probably my saving grace. Again, here I've missed the apex. You can, well, I just about to. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, I just about touch it, but I'm, I draw, I, I, I'm able to like get. You should really be able to go over the um, over the curbs a bit more aggressive there. Uh, but yeah, the Honda, you know, it's pretty pretty decent. I haven't driven the other cars, so I can't really. I'm not going to use it as like a comparison to the others. All I can say is it drives kind of similar to what I'm what I remember. It's been a couple months, but it drives kind of similar to what I remember the. Um, the front wheel drive cars in general used to drive like the is it the 16s or the 17s or the, the, uh, the latest, latest well WTCC ones anyway um, from before um, and I did get to a, a half somewhat okayish standard but back back uh, back then I think I did maybe one or two leagues back in my day uh, with them um, but yeah like yeah, I'm not I'm, I'm not used to the uh, it's weird, like I feel like, because cause there's so much understeer with the car, I feel like I've got to be really aggressive in the way I throw this car around, but actually it's the opposite, that they're, they're difficult to throw around, but you've actually got to be very, very precise and very calculated in your steering input as well as your pedal as well, like the braking's got to be very gentle, um, the, yeah, getting on the throttle as well, like it's a, it's a slow grind to get grip, like you're not just going to have it, and getting on the throttle too quickly will just cause more wheel spin, which means you're not going to go, go as fast, it's, um, yeah, it's, yeah, it's a, it's a weird one, it's definitely a weird one, um, nice being back in race room, uh, I haven't, you know, I guess, I guess, yeah, recently, it's probably, say the last couple of months, it probably hasn't served my purposes in terms of, like, competition-wise, but when it's doing things like this, like these sort of competitions, is probably where I think race room is probably at its best for me, in terms of like a competition, because you know you just get like a load of a bunch of people. I don't know how many people trying to do, do these things, um, like do these actual lap times, but you do get quite a high number of people and a quite high number of like really good racers that are going to do these challenges. So it's a it's a nice little benchmark to sort of like test yourself against. Whereas I think your every day to day sort of like just racing online race room is a little bit meh. But you know these competitions they do them really well, and you know hats off to them. So um, yeah, man. Hopefully I'll be able to join into this race later, and I'll catch you guys soon.